Women only make up 19% of boards and 22% of senior management teams. And this is despite research that shows that companies that have at least one female director are more successful. What are the reasons why women just seem to drop off that career ladder the higher up they go? What are the challenges that women face? But more importantly, what can you do as strong, independent, driven, amazing women to stay on that career ladder so that you can fulfill your potential, whatever that means for you? It was good sort of getting examples of how your body language and your posture can affect the message that you want to give and the message of gravitas, which was really interesting. When you develop gravitas, you can then get taken seriously. If you're being interrupted in a meeting, if you're being challenged, then you can overcome it. So this is based on three years worth of work into what this intangible thing called gravitas is. Yeah, it's given some really good tools, I think, to take away and actually put into practice. Another classic female trait, we have to be perfect. We have to be the best at something before we put ourselves forward. Sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves to feel like we need to know everything before we have a right to say anything. She seemed to know how we all feel and the issues that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Part of this is about deciding to be tough, deciding that you can handle it. If someone makes a comment and it's upset you, or something's gone wrong, not letting it hurt you too deeply. I thought it was really inspirational, actually. If you're wanting to get taken seriously, command respects, have gravitas, then you need to be able to connect with the people around you. So build strong networks of people around you. Go forth and network and love it. Well, I'm definitely going to take some of that going forward and share it as well.